What is up? Matthew DeMoe here for the March 16th edition of Friday First Reaction. We have about 40 songs. We got a delicious, tasty snack of an episode. So let's get right into it with Bust by Kazqua and DJ Slink. Alright, I might have fanned I might have fit Alright, I might have fanboyed out a little too hard, but if you know Baronk sound, if you know DJ Slink style, that was the perfect combination of both sort of styles. Next up is MDR by Party Favor and I think also Bauer is on this one. It's like kinda quiet. I'm right now what the hell happened very interesting experimental track actually but seemed like it's ended before it really even got started it was like half of a trap twerk drop and then half of a drum and bass drop and then so i'm definitely not going to be adding this to any playlist or anything it was more like just a collection of interesting sounds than a complete song in my opinion next up is where i'm at by slushy <laughs> annoying. I can't, I can't do the whole song with this. Surprisingly dirty track by Slushy. Overall production kind of sounded like a watered down snail song. At least the drops did. Definitely not going to be going back to this one. Next up, Dead Inside by Tasca Black. Woo! This is beautiful. This is very... I can't go over how nicely produced this is. For, honestly, for a two and a half minute song, I really couldn't ask for much more from Dead Inside because it's a very, definitely in the more pop realm, but it didn't sound cheap at all. Like the production was very pretty. I liked the vocal performance. It flowed very nicely. Uh, I'm gonna keep listening to this one because I'm not usually a big fan of these airy, very trap, synthy pop songs, but that was really cool. Next up is Thrall's remix of My 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 by Troy Sivan. <laughs> That was a very pleasant surprise. The song's drop and sort of structure was very similar to the right here, right now Don Diablo song. However, that song features a disco sample, and this has a soul vocal that I think to me is a lot more significant and catchy. Next up is SNH Disco by Boys Noise. Very raw. Very happy with how that song came out because usually with boys noise songs that are very in raw and fashion are hit or miss for me if you're interested in more raw minimal sounds songs definitely for you next up is loaded by boys noise wow really this song just reminds me of how much i miss gashafelstein at least playing it one to two minutes in a set i think is super cool and fun Next up is Lick It by Valentino Khan. I was very unimpressed with that song up until the second drop. I thought the first drop, the lead was a little like too noisy and just sort of weak. Also, remember the drums on the other house efforts by Valentino Khan being a bit harder? Like this bass drum was very round. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but 
So you hear that kick drum in deep down low. It's got a lot of more top end to it. Just hits way nicer. And it was always something I liked about Valentino Khan's house songs. I don't think that song was anything special. Uh, definitely gonna skip that one. Next up is Tasty by Will K. That was actually our first Hell Deep reaction. Lately, I haven't been a huge fan of most of the releases, like the DJ Tools um, stuff wasn't that good in my opinion, and then also High Low's kind of been kind of quiet lately. It reminded me a lot of DOD's sort of style, and I'm glad other people are sort of doing that fidgety house style, um, because that stuff's really fun, really good energy, very catchy. So I'll definitely be adding that one. Next up is Oliver's remix of Up All Night by Beck. Very great, dreamy 80s vibes coming from Oliver, as per usual. Beck did a great job, and that's probably why he won that Grammy way back. So thanks, Oliver, for showing me that. Next up is All I Want by Terry Miko. So actually also Gojo's on that song. That was actually my favorite trap effort by Goja. Uh, both drops were super litty fam. And I didn't mind the interludes or the vocals, so it's all tracked by both of them. Uh, definitely a check plus on that. Next up is Montana by Francisco Allendez. A little techno. Wow, I like this bass line. That's what I look for in house music. Nice, aggressive bass line, and then on top of that, just cutting in all sorts of different elements, keeping things interesting. I hate when things kind of loop for too long. That song was just constantly adding onto the tension. I think the build to the second drop was maybe a little too long, a little too overdrawn. However, song was still a smash, in my opinion. Next up is Everybody Hates Me by The Chainsmokers. I'm gonna call that emo future bass Avicii style music because I could swear that that lead violin and that melody is taken right out of an Avicii song. The dude, I don't know which one, the one that people think is looks pretty, needs to stop singing on these songs and just get a better vocalist. Not for me, but I think it's a step in the right direction. Next up is Manila Kills remix of Hawk is Overrated by Jeremy Zucker. First of all, I don't think I've ever heard a bad Manila Killer remix. Honestly, I'm a fan of all of them. One thing I noticed is the riser used before the drop was also used in Little Pump's Rick Ross, uh, which sort of distracted me a little bit from the very serene production, but it's probably just my fault for listening to Little Pump. There's a great little R&B vocal in there too, so this song's dope. Next up is Talk Is Overrated by Mern. Honestly, the swing of the song sort of threw me off a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of the song, even though it's very pretty. The vocal was okay. Uh, not a terrible monster cut, police by any means, but not my favorite either. Next up is Project 9 by Yuki.
if you like the bass of the song, you're going to like it. Not really switching up too many styles here. Uh, very straightforward, very simple. Not my favorite Yuki song. I've seen them be more creative and interesting than that, so I'm going to skip. Next up is Creed by Lit Lords. <laughs> One of the more interesting and intricate hard trap songs I've seen. You sort of know what you're getting into when you are listening to a hard trap song or hard trap artist like Lit Lords, but that build going to the second drop and the second drop were both very unexpected. Very, very high energy. Really like that one. Next up is Inhale by Duke Dumont. Very, very smooth song by Duke Dumont. Another reason why Disco House is going to be taken over this summer. Next up is Dark Side by Sunstars. The sitar sort of lends itself to a more Middle Eastern cashmere vibe, and that's kind of the easiest way for me to sort of explain this song to someone is cashmere was a little bit more loose, a little more dancey, really, really good rhythm in that song. That was really dope. That's a great revealed record release, so shout out to Sunstars for that one. Next up, we have Moon Love by Boombox Cartel. <laughs> That was a great nocturnal trap song. The rapping did not sound forced at all. It sounded very natural, very, very high quality. The drop itself, very, very awesome, clean. This is definitely going on the favorites list. This is really, really cool. And now we reached the point where my camera cannot record any more music. So I'm going to be taking a five minute break to upload all this and we'll be back for part two of Friday First Reaction, March 16th. All I've got to say is... I'm not the one who's